were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dream. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin Gemini, how are you? Thank you for being here. Thank you for firstly liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Um, I want to say shout out to, I'm finding that I get a lot of viewership in New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas, um, London, Houston, Atlanta, and Philly. So if you are uh, viewing from those states or those countries, go ahead and drop that below. Say hello. Thank you for being here once again. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Gemini, what we're going to do is we're going to see what the situation is in your life. You want to see what the external influence is, get some advice, and then pull some cards for future energy. So let's see what's going on for you, Gemini. Let's see. What do we have for Gemini? Uh, so when I was meditating off camera for you, what I got was like a sea of emotions. I don't know if somebody is drowning in a sea of emotions, if it's you or someone else. There's also like an energy of depression too, or being depressed or yeah, something holding you down or it's weighing you down or, you know, it's depressing your mood, your happy mood. Okay. Um, you're in a lower state. I don't know. Or it could be someone else around you. Let's see what's going on for Gemini here. Five of cups is coming up like in my mind. So that's Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be wanting a relationship back. There could be missing someone. You could have job loss. It could be anything. I I'm praying that it's not. It maybe it's somebody else. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Um, so we've got the hangman. So you could be dealing with, um, what's that? Can't even think today. Uh, Pisces. This is also you taking a step back too and trying to evaluate. Let's see what else is going on. What's the situation for Gemini? Okay. And we've got, um, we've got the queen of wands showing up. That's my Gemini woman card, the queen of wands. So that could be, if you're a woman, you're a Gemini, that's you. Let's see what else is going on for Gemini here. Gemini situation. Okay. And then the world egg. So we've got, uh, the fool card here. And some of you, let's see, this is evaluating here. Some of you just let a relationship end. Okay. By not putting any energy into it, any more love, energy, time, investment into this connection because it wasn't giving you what you wanted. This could also be job related. This is different. This was like a situation where someone was keeping you as the other woman or you knew about another woman, or this could be you. This could be for Gemini where you had another person and now this person is um, maybe going to let something new develop in their life or between the two of you. It's not going to be the same here. Yeah. We've got an energy of Gemini. Somebody is releasing. They're actively releasing. 
they're asking themselves the question as to why haven't I had what I really want? So they're saying they're really drilling down on I, 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 why haven't I had what I really want? So it's more so somebody coming to a conclusion as to um, what part they played in a situation. And, and that part could be that, you know, because um, this could even be like allowing for um, a third party situation. And if it's not allowing, then it's more so um, being a part of a third party situation, knowing that you're not the only one, knowing that you're dissatisfied, discontent, bored. And maybe that's why in meditation I was getting that, you know, that sea of emotions, you know, someone really trying to really uh, think about how they feel, you know, or, or really drill down on their feelings. Someone doesn't like that there is another woman or another into another person, another uh, man. It could be anybody. Okay. Somebody doesn't like the fact that they're not the only person here. And somebody is like, and, and somebody has definitely m made it known that this is like a carefree connection. No strings attached. Well, you do you, I do me. Um, we come together, we do us. Somebody is really, it seems as if they might be tired of it. There's also somebody that is resting in a sea of emotions when this person leaves them. It could be you, Gemini, it could be the other person. So when that person leaves you, then you're in your emotions. You're like, oh, you know, you're thinking about them. You're thinking about the relationship. You're thinking about if you should even engage in this. You're thinking about if they love you, like you, you know, you're all over the place. This is definitely maybe an energy where this person is in and out. You know, they come in and then they're gone. Or this is you, Gemini. Let's see what the external energy has to offer you. What is the external energy? External from Gemini. So this will be not you. External energy from Gemini. The Queen of Swords. Okay, so we got two queens here. It could be same-sex relationship. If it is not same sex, then we've got two people in an energy of just once again, doing you, me doing, you know, I'm doing me, you do you. We got the Queens are the doers of the Tarot. So we got active doing. We've got the seducing energy um, or the charismatic uh, seductive energy in the Queen of Wands. And then we've got the Queen of Swords coming out. It's the external energy. So somebody is really severing tie. Now, Gemini, someone around you, because this is external, somebody is really, they've really divided themselves or they put division in between the relationship and you. It is what it is. We do what we do. You're not my girlfriend. You're not my boyfriend. Or we hang out. Or, you know, someone is really, um, you know, really making the the executive decisions in this relationship this person writes the rules let's see what else external to gemini this could be somebody getting in control of their life so gemini if you're on the other side of this this could be someone saying i don't want to do this sneaking around hanging around hiding around you leaving me hanging when you're gone so i'm cutting this out if this is because this is energy external to you let's see We've got two people not on the same page, though. Five of Pentacles. So, um, looks like it's Taurus energy. Could even be a little bit of Mercury, uh, Virgo. So, uh, this could be somebody's telling you, I'm, I'm cutting this off. They're hearing you out, Gemini, but they also are telling you, this is, this is not getting me what I want. And that's what the Queen of Swords does. She cuts out things that's not conducive to the new life that she wants to live. So she's severing time with the old, worn out, outdated loyalty. And then she's moving on into um, her new life. So with the five of pentacles, someone could be saying, I feel used. I feel like I'm not getting what I want. I'm in a place of, you know, lack, uh, lack of confidence and forward movement in this relationship. This could even be career, but... If this is Korea, then somebody is really severing ties with maybe um, something that they used to do. And they're going to go into something new. It's not bringing them enough. Somebody could even be um, contemplating entrepreneurship or doing something on the side. Um, maybe even side hustle, gig, um, getting a second job. Let's see what else. 
external to Gemini, external to Gemini, the emperor. Okay, so somebody's standing in their power. We got Scorpio, we've got Taurus, we got Aries. Um, so we've got somebody who's standing on their square. They're being unmovable, unshakable. This is what they want. This is what they will only accept, what they will um, only tolerate. So Gemini, it looks like uh, external to you, we've got somebody who, who is really decisive in their um, words, in their actions. Like this is what it is. Um, Either this is what it is or I'm severing ties with you, Gemini. It just looks like somebody is saying it's over or it's done or, or I can't give you what you want or this could even be you. This could even, this is external to you. So Gemini, I'm really feeling like you're on the other side of this where somebody is really putting their foot down in regards to, I heard usury, you know, somebody, this could even be you, you know, external to you. You could be telling someone that you just don't have confidence in this relationship moving forward. Usury, right? Feeling used, feeling, you know, less than. Um, somebody's making some executive decision to cut this off, cut this out. Um, somebody's got somebody else in the wind, you know, or in the wings waiting for them. Somebody said we couldn't get through this, this tough time. Therefore, I'm, I have to sever the tie. We couldn't make sense out of it. There's no law. There's no order. There's no structure in this relationship. You come, you go, you do as you please. I do as I please. Somebody is not wanting this anymore. Let's see what the advice is for Gemini. What is the advice for Gemini here? What is the advice for Gemini? Knight of Cups. So listen to spirit here. There might be even someone new coming into your life. There could also be, if this is not someone new and this is a, a person that you already know, keep in mind with the Knight of Cups energy, this is somebody who is a knight, number one. So they're still on quest or conquest. They're still trying to conquer something. They're still trying to do. They're actively going and seeking and, you know, they're on mission, right? They aren't stable. They aren't ready to settle or settle down. So we got an energy who maybe wants to come into your life. This is the advice, Gemini. They want to woo you. They want to uh, court you, date you, make you fall in love with them. But they have unrealistic expectations in love, you know, and they like the newness of love. They don't like the maintenance of love. So the maintaining a relationship is where they fall short. What else do we have? The six of wands. It says bet on yourself. The six of wands here. Put the energy, effort, time into self. It talks about taking the high road. It talks about walking off and strutting your stuff. It talks about winning the battle by not even engaging. Don't even engage in things that aren't going to get you what you want. The five of wands comes before the six of wands. Correct. Right. Um, so it talks about maybe a love affair, a childish behavior, childishness. Um, could even signify third party situations are fighting for someone's affection or attention. So the advice here, choose you go in a new direction. Let something new develop for you. Find balance. Okay. By going away from, it looks like you'll get recognition for doing that. Also, someone will recognize you and your power, recognize you, um, you have self-respect. You're not going to, you're not going to be involved in this. All right. So yet yeah, Knight of Wands, this is some definitely energy from the past here. This is also telling you that somebody wants your attention. They want your affection, your attention on them with the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands with the Six of Wands. And somebody's trying to do something fast. So they're trying to make you fall in love fast. They're trying to make you take action fast. They're trying to sway you, woo you, um, bait you. Um, you know, seduce you into making a decision in regards to maybe them coming back into your life. You get the five of swords uh, at the bottom of this deck, and then you get the bottom five of swords at the bottom of this deck. So that talks about mind games. Yeah, it talks about mind games. It, it talks about um, reversal. So some, some, somebody wants you to come back or go backwards, or you'll be going back into the same thing. It also talks about bad blood here. It's just unresolved issues. Um, this, this talks about fast talk. Also, it talks about, um, 
maybe having put distance between you and someone or someone put distance between you and them. Um, no talking, but it also talks about uh, winning. Somebody wants to win at all costs. So they want to win you back at all costs. Therefore, they'll say anything or they'll do anything. They'll cause for reversal to happen in your life. Interference also coming up with the five of swords. So they may be trying to interfere in your new life. Maybe in you going your own way with the six of wands, um, getting promotion, strutting your stuff, moving on, not caring. They want to come back or this is you. Let's get some future energy for you, uh, Gemini. And then we'll close this out. What's the future energy for Gemini? What's the future? Okay. The car wanted to show up. Marriage. Okay, so uh, in the near future, you've got marriage. What are you going to marry yourself to? Or are you going to get married, you know, physically, you know, um, certificate-wise, right? Let's see what else. We've got somebody here who wants to partner with you, wants to make something work. Maybe you are married or you were married or someone wants to come back. The main male here. All right, so we've got a man showing up here. I don't know if this is your man or if you are the man. You could be married and you could be trying to, you know, get somebody to stay in some third party connection. Okay, let's see. What else do we have in the future energy for Gemini? What do we have in future energy for Gemini? Uh, courtship, yeah. If this doesn't spell third party situation, I don't know what does. So we've got marriage, we've got main male, and then a, a, a dating ship, a courtship here. So we've got somebody who may already be married and we've got them showing up and doing whatever they want to do as the main male and trying to date someone else. We've got a layered connection where somebody's already coupled, married, in a situation, involved, living, in, whatever, situationship, but they're also trying to maintain something on the outside of their marriage. This could be a man, this could be a woman, this could be both, I don't know, but there's an energy where somebody is definitely um, Maybe trying to get someone back or get someone to stay. Yeah, somebody doesn't like being in a place of, you know, lack, uh, lack of uh, communication with their person. Uh, this could even be, you know, uh, the married person to the single person. Hey, come back in this. I miss you. I like you. I love you. Or they, they just want to have you back. They can't offer you. It's funny because I, I, I kind of picked up on that. Someone saying they can't offer you what you really want, but they want you to come back. Okay. So this is what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website and book your reading there. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. If you took something from this reading, if you got clarity, you can always give back by buying me a coffee. The link is below. Um, get your business readings. Also join the KTMG, Keep the Momentum Going. A conference call monthly conference call for like-minded business individuals like yourself who wants to uh, embark on either entrepreneurship or continue in their entrepreneur entrepreneurship endeavor so join that each and every month uh, valuable information given out every single month um, thank you many blessings to you take care